Hi, and welcome to the Ferrigno Freedom Channel. I'm Dante Ferrigno. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, you may have noticed by the intro that I was formerly a lot heavier than I am now, and that's not the only change that I've experienced, but I've been on a carnivore way of eating now for three and a half years known as the Lion Diet. And one of the questions I often get asked or I see asked in different communities on Facebook and other places that talk about carnivore eating is, as a Christian, or as a Jewish person, or even as a Muslim, what about eating blood? Is there a problem with eating what is on my steak when I take it out? You can see it's dripping with a red substance right now. And if you look inside the package that I took it out of, it sure looks like blood. So what's the deal? Is this something that we're allowed to do? Should we be eating our meat rare and medium rare? These are questions that I see people asking. So I thought I'd like to come today and address that as a fellow carnivore and a fellow Christian to many of you out there, or just somebody who understands that those who have faith and want to follow their faith have these concerns. And since Christians, Muslims, and Jews make up roughly six billion of this world's population, I'd say the question is kind of relevant. So let's take a look at it. Even when I'm preparing hamburger meat, you'll notice that as I pour this out, there is a red substance coming out. But also, some people might think, hey, that's blood, you can't eat that. Don't worry, this won't be a theological discussion. I know there's plenty to be done on that by other people. And this is something I think that each person has to address on their own. And when it comes to matters of theology, I think it's something that each person has to address on their own between themselves and the Lord. And since the Bible specifically prohibits eating blood in both the Old Testament and the New Testament in Genesis, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Acts, there are several different places in the Bible where we're told not to eat blood. The Quran also prohibits the eating of blood. Well, one of the great things about this concern is, is it's not one of those matters of theology we have to worry about getting into arguments over because it's not really a matter of theology in this case. It's a simple matter of biology. One of the things you should know is that when you cut into a piece of meat like this, whether it's rare, medium rare, well done, medium, medium well, doesn't matter, what you're seeing on the inside is not blood. The blood is drained from the animal when it's first slaughtered. Why does it look like blood? Well, it looks like blood because it has some similar attributes. But what is blood? Blood is a complex fluid composed of several essential components. Plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Plasma is the liquid component of blood composed primarily of water, but also contains proteins, salts, enzymes, antibodies, and other substances. Red blood cells transport oxygen from the lungs to the body's tissues and carbon dioxide from the tissues back to the lungs. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, a protein that binds to oxygen. White blood cells are part of the immune system that fight infection and disease. Several types, including neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, and basophils, each with specific functions. Platelets help form clots to stop bleeding. What you're seeing on your plate, however, is not blood. This is myoglobin. It's a protein found in the muscle. Myoglobin is not even found in blood. So unlike hemoglobin, it's not even a component of blood. Under certain circumstances, myoglobin can leak into the bloodstream of an animal, but that doesn't make it blood. The bottom line is you don't have to worry about the red stuff on your plate when you're eating a wonderful piece of steak you just need to realize that you're eating what your body was intended to eat. It's the way the Lord meant for us to eat, in my opinion, and based on what I've read on everything that followed the flood and Noah and his family and how they were taught to eat animals. So for my fellow Christians and also for my friends who are Muslim and Jewish, don't worry about that red stuff that's on the plate when you eat a delicious steak, medium rare or rare, or however you cook it. It's not blood. It's myoglobin. So you can enjoy your delicious meat and live in good health. Hey, if you found this video helpful on your carnivore journey, be sure to also check out my website, ferrignofreedom.com. I've got links on there for all the products that I use, from the air fryers that I've tried and enjoy, to the salt that I use to season my meat, and everything in between. I also have options for you to tell me your carnivore story, so that we can get together on a carnivore conversation right here on my channel and share your story with the world. If you've had a remarkable transformation of some kind because of a carnivore way of eating, 
I want to hear from you. There are people in this audience who want to hear from you because they may be experiencing right now the same problems you experienced when you started your carnivore way of eating. And your information could change their life. So as I said, go to ferignofreedom.com right now and check out everything I have available for you there. My thanks to all of you who support the channel through the products that you buy that help support the work that I'm doing here to let more people know about the carnivore way of eating and what it can do for your health physically, mentally, and spiritually. It has been a wonderful journey for me, and if you haven't embarked on it yet, this may be your chance to learn more about it. Anyway, that's all I got for this one, guys. I'll see you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? The carnivore bar compared to movie theater snack prices? It's no competition. With a tub of popcorn running you over $14, I'd much rather enjoy the salty, crunchy, meaty goodness of a carnivore bar any day. And I don't have to cheat to enjoy my night out. Carnivore Bar. Save 10-20% to 20 when you use my link in the description of this video.